Hello and welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of cleaning your lenses. These things, they're money earners, the beasts. The best way is to shoot film and take photos is to simply clean and look after your lenses. Now even a small speck of dust, unvisible to the eye, especially in 4K, can really show up as a blemish in your work. And you, maybe whether that's photography or video. Now there are several ways to clean your lenses. Some are expensive, some are inexpensive. It's up to you what you want to spend. But on the principle, they're all similar the same. It depends how in depth you want to get into cleaning your lens. Something like 12 to 35 mil um, Panasonic lens. Pretty expensive, so it's down to you how much you want to spend on a cleaning kit. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. So mistake I see when I'm in the field shooting, I'll see a lot of people who are taking photos or shooting video I'll often just see them get the camera of the lens and just go <laughs> please do not use your t-shirt the t-shirt could be carrying dust or grains you could even have specks of grains or sand some sort of harsh particle maybe unseen to the eye and it could even be in this little crevice here and then you'll get someone just go <laughs> just scratch the glass but when you've tucked your footage back into whatever software you use, you will see that blemish, and especially in 4K. So t-shirts, no, please. But anyway, let's get in to the method of how I clean my lenses. So, let's grab your lens. I'm gonna be cleaning the Sigma 18 to 35 mm lens, my favorite lens. Definitely recommend this for videos, uh, music videos. I've used it on weddings music videos anything it's just so robust so anyway what i want to do first is grab our cleaning kit now i got this off amazon pretty cheap actually i use it on all my lenses so it's perfect for what i need and what i got in this kit is a uh, just some camera lens cleaner perfect sweet and then the old rocket blower not a large one pretty small but i travel a lot so i need things to be small compact and light what we can do is quite a few methods you can use this fine fabric cloth it's really fine and soft it's a bit like silk and you can apply lens cleaner fluid to it now you can also buy these lens cleaning wipes which are perfect just tear open give it a wipe then you dispose of it that's it or you can just carry this round so you can use as much as you want then the so first thing I do on all my lenses, remove the cap. Now when you're spraying with your rocket blower, you don't want to be spraying down onto it. You want to actually lift it upside down and get all the trapped dirt. But for the purpose of this video, I will show you it the wrong way around, just so you can see. So I get in all the grooves and all the threads and across the lens. This isn't going to remove every piece of dirt, but it's going to get rid of this surface layer of dust. That's it, and also, I like to do both ends, but when I see videos, you never seem to see I'm doing this side. For some reason, I don't know where. And there we go, lie that on its side. And what a lot of people don't do, is what I also see quite often, they never seem to clean the cap. So you've cleaned your lens, and then you put the cap back on, and all the dirt in here falls back on. So you just want to make sure that's clean. A quick pump, here we go, mine's full of glitter, I've done a music video shoot where we're throwing glitter around and it was just got everywhere, anyway yeah, so that's done, so next I like to start on the back of the lens, I'll do, what I'll do first is just remove any surface dust, I mean this is pretty clean, now sometimes when you're cleaning these even the uh, camera lens cleaner, you won't get out all the blemishes or the fingerprints. So what I normally like to do is just breathe in it, get a bit of condensation, give it another wipe. There we go. Next, take the uh, camera lens cleaner. Now I don't apply it to the camera lens because I don't want it to get in to all these crevices. So I just play two pumps. That evaporates pretty quick actually. So. There we go. Smoking. Then just use a dry end, give that a wipe. There we go. Now that is really clean, really shiny. 
So what I then do is pop this back on. It's up to you if you want to give this a light, but just get a quick light. Pop that back on. Turn it over. Let's do this end the same again. Bit of breeze, bit of condensation. Give that a wipe. Just make sure you get in the corners. Now, if you do get any stubborn stains, I'll just the intention this video. I've left a fingerprint there. Now, sometimes these wipes won't clean it off. So what you can do is refer back to this little fella. And you can sort of just wipe the smear off if you want. You can also get in all the corners, but I don't really use that. For what I do, this is perfect. Bit of spray. You won't remove it all, so you just get another dry side of your cloth and sort of dry it off. And that already looks ten times better. Your image will be so beautiful. I just turn it on its side, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get it in the light. That's perfect. That's it. So that's it. That's everything you need to do to clean your lenses. Now I would recommend using this method. Not probably this much in depth, but I would recommend at least giving it a spray with a rocket pump every time you use a lens, every time you swap lenses, and before you put it away, just give it a quick <laughs> And that's it, done for the next time, no messing, it's not going to ruin any of your footage. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed my last video, which was my first ever video, that was on Adobe Audition, just making your audio sound better. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, let me know what you think. Maybe give me a like, subscribe, share, and just spread this video. And uh, hopefully this video has been useful to you and helps you in your work. So, peace.